Hi guys, so today we are going to be doing a bit of uh, core work. Very important to have a nice strong core uh, for everything in life, really. But um, I find it really helpful to protect your lower back. If you're someone that struggles with lower back pain, um, then this is going to be really helpful for you. Also, your hips um, and even your hamstrings, actually. Um, you know, anything that is in this kind of central pivoting area. Um, your core strength is really vital going forward. Um, not to mention it contains all your organs. So you want to have a nice strong basket. So to begin with, uh, for today, we're just going to start seated in a comfortable seated position. And we're just going to take a couple of light stretches to begin. This is going to be a core integration video. So although I am going to do a couple of light stretches to begin with, um, this is really something that you can just chuck into your practice along with something else. So sit nice and tall. Close your eyes, you can bring your hands to your knees or to your lap, wherever is comfortable. Sit really tall. Did I say that already? <laughs> and give your shoulders a little roll, waking up your shoulders. And then find some stillness. Connect with your breath. And just take a moment to shuffle through your thoughts. Find anything that you're holding on to. And set that aside. Because you've chosen to take some time for yourself. So really make the most of it. And don't let anything in that is not serving you. Open your eyes very gently. I'm just going to take a breath in, puff out your chest, and roll your shoulders back your head go if that feels okay too. Bring some length to your spine. And as you exhale, curve around through your spine. Hold on to the edges of your knees. And pull yourself back. And then curl round, press up. Curve yourself back around, pulling your belly button towards your spine and pulling your shoulders away. And one more time, open up your chest. And drop it down, curve it around. And then just come to a neutral spine <clears throat> and roll over your feet and then find your ways down facing dog. You can walk out your feet if you need to. And just take a moment to reconnect with your breath. Reconnect with your why, why you're here, why you're doing this. And take a breath in, step forward with both feet, and come up halfway with a long spine, and then forward fold. Take a breath in, rise up, reach both hands up to the sky, bring your hands to your heart center. Breathe in, reach up, exhale, come down. Halfway lift, and then drop your hands to the floor, step back, and lower yourself down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Okay. 
Move your left foot into the center of the mat and send your right leg out behind you. Take a breath in, lengthen through your spine, push your foot back and you're going to hug your knee in towards your right armpit. Hug it in and pull your shin up. Send it back out. Hug it in. Press your knee up and push the mat away from you. Send it out. Pull it in. Hug in, hug up. Send it out. And one more time, pull it in. Hug it in, hug it in. Send it out. And you can bring that foot down. Take downward facing dog. And breathe. We'll take it to the other side. Oops. We'll take it to the other side. So bring your right foot into the center of the mat and lift up the left leg. And then bring the left knee into your left armpit. Press it up. Send it out. Bring it in. Press it up, press it up. Send it out. Again, bring it in. Pull your shin in towards your thigh. You're really hugging everything up. Send it out. One more time, pull it in. Hug up. Send it out. And drop it down. In through your nose, out through your mouth, and then step forward with both feet come up halfway. Forward fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up, and bring your hands to your heart center. Wiggle your feet together. And you take chair pose, so sit back. Your hands can be here or here. Not really important right now. <laughs> and then slowly, you're just gonna start to lower all the way onto your bums. And then when you're sitting on your butt, keep your hands lifted. You try to come up onto the tips of your toes. We'll take Navasana, bow pose. So bring one leg up, bring the other leg up. Maybe stay here, maybe you can extend. Extend through both legs. Keep your chest lifted. And your breath steady. And release. You can cross your legs, bring your hands to the sides of your bum and forward a little bit. We'll just take a small lift. So press into the mat with your hands that your bum lifts. Maybe your legs lift too. Maybe you lose your voice. <laughs> If you're trying to talk while you're doing that. Move back into Navasana. So bring your feet, tip toes to the floor, chest is nice and lifted. Hands come out to the sides. Hands can be here as well, by the way. Breathe in. One leg lifts, the other leg lifts. Stay here or extend. Keep your chest lifted. Keep your shoulders rolled away from your ears. Soft through your face. And breathe. And release. Take a lift. So cross your legs, cross your ankles the other way. So not the way that you normally do. Bring your hands to your hips and forwards a little bit. Lift your hips up, lift your feet up, and drop them down. Roll back down onto your mat. So you come to lie on your back. From here, send your feet out overhead. And you already want to think about pulling your belly button down into the ground. So really, if you just do that right, so if you just put your feet up and you kind of just brace your stomach and you kind of feel it a bit in your neck and your chest puffs out and you're like, ugh. 
That's not what we want. <laughs> so what you really want to be doing is just pulling your belly button down into the ground. And as you do that, you just feel your way around your stomach. Notice how that corset muscle is completely turned on. The big, deep transverse abdominus that goes all the way around. Your deep core muscle is completely activated. So keep your feet up overhead, belly button pulled down, and you can bring your hands to your sides. You can tuck them under your hips as well if you want to. So breathe in, pull your belly button down. You'll lower your feet to 60 degrees. Pull your belly button down. Lower them to 30 degrees. Lower them to hover above the floor and send them back up. Pull the belly button down. That's such a vital part of this movement. So pull down, lower to 60, lower to 30, lower to hover, bring them up. You get a little shake on. <laughs> That's cool. I always shake. So pull your belly button down, getting rid of that gap between your lower back and the floor. Lower to 60, pull down, lower to 30, lower to hover, bring them back up, and you can hug your knees in, then give yourself a little shake, shimmy shimmy shake, and then find some stillness. From here, make a tabletop with your feet, with your legs, and just interlace your fingers behind your head. We're going to do bicycle twists. They're not the same way that you'll do them in the gym. So the difference with yogi bicycle twists is that when you hit the knee with your elbow, don't just, oh, and then I'm gonna change it. No, you're gonna hit the knee with the elbow and you're gonna press in. As you press in, you'll feel your stomach's like, oh, damn. <laughs> That's what you want, you want the oh, damn moment. So let's begin. We'll start off with bringing your right elbow to your left knee and extending the right leg. So bring it in, press your elbow into your knee, keep the feet active and then change, press it in, change, press it in, pull the belly button down, change, press, change, press, change, belly button still pulling down, change, change, then release. Woo! Collapse asana. You can give your knees a little shake. Side to side, whatever you want to do. Oh, it feels so good. And then you just bring your feet about mat width apart. Bring your knees together. Bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. And just let your breath go. Be aware of any kind of residue that you're feeling around your core. Breathing space into those sensations. Now keep your feet in the same position that they're in. You're just going to drop your knees across to your left side. Come back to center and drop them across the other side. Come back to center, let your knees lock together. And let go of your breath. Notice if you feel any change in the kind of residue around your central area. And you can choose to stay here for 
five minutes or so and take a savasana or continue on your practice. <laughs> 